Welcome to Boxing Block, center the home of Nigerian African boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select or set on a new banger and you ask this video will definitely be notified. So breaking guys robert elenius has returned an adverse analytical finding in a drug test taken before his defeat to Anthony joshua on august 12th well basically robert elenius got popped for peds um matroom boxing announced via twitter saying today the voluntary anti-doping association vada has informed matroom and the british boxing um board of control that Robert Elinius has returned an adverse analytical finding as part of a random anti-doping protocol. Elinius was voluntarily tested on Friday 11 August before the heavyweight fighters defeat by Anthony Joshua in London on Saturday 12th August. The result was made known to Matrum today. Matrum defers to the relevant regu regulatory authorities on next steps. We vehemently continue to support voluntary anti-doping testing. We are committed to promoting a clean and fair sport for all athletes. Will we not be making any further comment? Well, Elinius, what do, I, what do I say about this guy right here? Elinius, in my opinion, should be ashamed of himself. The white, the white Joshua fight got caught off was cancelled basically for the same thing white call what white got caught using peds i don't know what's with fighters nowadays that you need to use something you need to have some extra some additional stuff to your system in your system in order to beat a fellow man why not just go out there put up a good fight if you lose you lose if you win you win so now the ko the joshua ko um of Elinius look refreshing right now he looks even more he looks even better right now i know that joshua was not those like he was definitely getting back that was um, a rusty joshua as yet but still beating a guy on peds is crazy Elinius has definitely bit back he's saying listen he didn't use it according to him right here his statement i want to say something very clear in my own words right now with absolutely no exception I did not use any performance enhancing now enhancement now or ever. I have been tested my entire career. I was just told that I tested positive for the presence of a non steroid substance in my system and I wanted to send an immediate direct message to Anthony Joshua and boxing fans that I didn't cheat and never would. I have volunteered to work with Vada and the BBB of C to do whatever it takes to clear my name. Elinius is very confident that he didn't use anything, any, any uh, performance enhancing drugs um, in a fight. Um, uh, Joshua Fire saying that, listen, he's a clean athlete. I know, but basically, it's easy to say, but you can't really deny the fact that like something has been found in your system. Okay, it might not be life threatening, but still, it's an advancement. Listen, if you have an enhancement, whatever enhancement has. Um, has um like how do you say it now whatever announcement you take be it life threatening or not has its own um advantage and disadvantages let's say advantages because in this case you're looking to take another man's head off you're looking to knock someone out you're looking to kill someone's or i not kill somebody basically boxing is like you go there to to kill or get killed in a way like if boxing is a sport that it is legal for you to take another man's life. Basically, if you take another man's life in the boxing ring, no judge will hold you responsible. No police will arrest you. You are signing your death away, basically. So if you take, so if you get caught taking something, he is like, listen, I don't care what it is, but it is very disappointing, and you should be banned or suspended, like suspended, maybe banned, because right now suspended. The, fighters get suspended for like two years they come back and fight again and some get some get caught again and get, so there should be a 10 year or let's say a life ban basically if you get caught taking something like this because i think in football for example what you americans will call soccer like if you get caught taking a uh, performance enhancing drugs you would definitely be banned like 
a long term ban you know is fat but in boxing we don't have the governmental structure uh, to put all this together because every governing body tend to have their own rules and regulations and everybody tend to follow what like Elenius, I hope you clear your name. Uh, I'm a big fan of Elenius. You know, he's a fighting man. He did step in five days uh, prior to the five. He, like, listen, White pulled out, pulled out. White pulled out for the reason being he, te- he himself te- got tested positive for performance enhancing drugs. And this time around, Elenius being caught as well. It's just sad for boxing. What can I say? How do we get rid of this right here? Um. There are so many fighters battling uh the, the fighters tend to take a lot they tend to take a lot of uh, substances they don't know about in the system their trainers give give it to them or so or the water they the drink that they is not well uh sanitized it's not well checked it's not well scrutinized so basically they just take whatever they want sometimes and some people know some fighters knowingly do that because in their mind they have to win because in boxing if you don't win you become a scrub basically if you lose three four fights five fights in a row people begin will begin to perceive you like differently you know what i mean so i guess that's why fighters do what they do but alienians in my opinion shouldn't be in that category because he okay he was tipped to be the next vladimir klitschko the next big thing but he, he didn't he go he lost to various people and stuff like that okay not bad so basically elenius is a strong contender but he's not seen as a threat so why take something just to answer your, your system it's a little bit sad joshua could have been hurt could have been killed in the ring and nothing will happen what will happen is just like elenius going to court or there will be no trial because basically he would deny it so it is sad, but Joshua's knockout of the of Elenius looks refreshing right now, and I'm enjoying every part of it. So, guys, what do you make of this? Why is boxing so rift with uh, um, PDs, um, you know, P- PDs and stuff like that? And why are people, why are some fighters, why do they feel the need to take such such substances in order for them to feel like to have some some, some self confidence, some confidence, something like that? I mean, it's just crazy. It is sad and uh what can i say it's just just sad um give it to us below like the video share subscribe and uh please don't forget to support the channel i appreciate each and every one of you guys that support the channel i know i've not been active here for the past eight nine twelve even going to twelve months now uh but we'll definitely try to you know st- come back step by step you know create some more time to like establish ourselves again because i know you guys miss uh listening and of course hearing my opinion on certain topics like this it's been a very long time coming boxing big boxing time is coming uh big time boxing is coming and i and i really can't um can't wait so stay blessed guys god bless you all and um stay charged stay blessed tell me how would i know i would fall in love with a guy next door she a big star now, but I still see her as the girl next door. She don't recognize me, I'm just a boy next door.